Now, one thing to note, there will be a lot of mokoblins. They just like to be all over the goddamn place. Mokoblins. Fucking a-holes. Alright, so it's actually really close now. We actually passed by it earlier and I didn't make any mention to it. Because it was really insignificant at the time. Eh? Eh? Screw you guys. Strafen. Strafen fixes everything. There we go. Do dead. You. No. Now kill. All right, there we go. Okay, I don't know why Link had to do that, but he just derped completely. All right. Hey, Darbus, where are you? Like I said before, strong man gonna go punch a rock. Nice hawk. This is a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders called a forgotten place. The scent has been burned my nostrils. It is the scent of evil. There's one powerful creature I have seen about, but under the beasts that are minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. We have hyenas in Hyrule? Uh, Africa. We're on Earth? Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna shut up. There are 30. No, and most 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors. Ragged remnants or remainants. I don't know how to say that word. Remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. If that is all, there are little humans that all you are alone more than enough for them. But you have to defeat all of them and save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I will tell you a secret the best in them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Got a little human? So we gotta be stealthy, huh? Okay, then. Now, uh, note, he said he smelt them. That guy's got some incredible nostrils, goddammit. Alright. This. And... Am I not? Now, I really like this next area. I think it's a really nice set piece. Ready these fingers. Ready that bow, Link. It's Western time. Now, I really like this. It, it's just a really nice set piece because, one thing, it's just like... It's like a western shootout. It, do you get western shootouts in Zelda games? No. Not at all. Ah, I missed that guy. There we go. Alright, same one. There we go. Now, one thing to note about this is... Oh, damn it, Link. Okay, I need some more room for that one. Got him. Cool. Now, like I said before, I, I think it's a really nice set piece that they have right here. Because, for the most part, it's just traditional Zelda games, but I just feel like they had a nice pace to it and actually decided to change it up. There we go. No. Oh. Yeah, I saw that guy on the... Uh, not the rooftop. Some on the ledge up there. Eh? Yeah. you. Wow, he really fell... <laughs> that 
that sucks for him. The guy over there, I can see his bastard peeking over. There we go. But it's like a really nice set piece to actually have something like this. It just I like how they changed the pace up. Whoa! Oh, I forgot there's one on the roof. And you can barely see him anyways. Ah. God damn it, I hate this. And the thing is, you... There we go. Now we only have one arrow. Eh, that's funny. Deck that. Now this place does not have any arrows for some arbitrary frickin' reason. Which kind of pisses me off. How's that one? Oh, he's on the roof. At least he was. Or, ah! Sweet. Oh, the last two aren't here? One sec. I'm gonna have to take them out in an alternative way. By actually using the ball and chain. If I can utilize the ball and chain. God damn it, Link. Apparently, the ball and chain can be thrown through walls. Mind breaking. There we go. We did it! Hello, lady. Hello, little old woman. Nobody's here anymore. I killed them all. The house of the beast. They faded in the silence. Hi there. Wait, are you? The savior! It's the savior! Well, I thank you. Please, please forgive me for not opening up the door. Hey, it's okay. You were surrounded by a bunch of foes and exploded barrels. I don't expect you to open up the door at all. My name is Impaza. I'm the last resident of this poor village. Wait. Impaza? Are you ready to Impa? Why, yes. Do you know her? No. Are you Sheikin? Why, yes. My name comes from the Great One who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a pride tribe who served the royal family. But it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It became an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Blank? Why, yes it is. Oh, I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl. Um, yeah, she's my friend. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying you would come to help. Wow. She even believed in me? Even though she was this conniving bitch that stole my horse? Don't steal my horse, dammit. That sweet girl. She worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I cannot leave this place until a certain person arrives. No matter what terrible fate visit upon it. Oh, but... Listen to me, Bladder, hon. I have a favor to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. We got Leah's charm. This is the key to get Leah's memory back. I believe in my heart that it kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask you to return that to that girl. Sure. Well, we have to. Because that's the only way to progress plot. What? It. Oh, that's an awkward place to be. One sec. Hey, woman, can I blow you up? 
No, can't, because you're right here. I'll blow shit up later. <laughs> no, I was gonna get. Hey, can I blow stuff up? Also, do you know anything about this? Hey, that rod. Is that the Dominion rod? Why, yes, it is. Uh, could it really be? Are you the messenger from to the heavens? Uh, I need to get to the heavens, so sure. Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the Ocho still maintained contact with. O what did you just say? Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. But not that. The other thing with the weird chicken things. What? The rod was the only way to be carried by the messenger of the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate. Please answer my question. What the hell are they? I'm not sure myself. God damn it. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please, take it. And we got the ancient sky book. Hooray. This book is written in the ancient language of the sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met with that young girl, what would have become of me? Me and that girl must have been ordained by the gods, so that I could be here to pass on this knowledge. Maybe. Maybe it is. Alright. So, one thing to note. We're gonna go over here. And go through here. Breaking some windows. This is the last Houndstone in the game. Now, I've said... You would be skipping this. Now, the reason why is if you tried to do Leah's memory quest, you wouldn't necessarily be able to, because if you skip the dungeon, it would cause the game to basically break, and you try to go here, you would actually lose this. So, <sighs> that's why I decided on a coin flip, because this is actually something I wanted to show off, which is the last Howling Stone of the game. Now, one thing is, you cannot transform into a wolf while you're in town right now, you have to go out of here and then come back in in order for that to happen. Kind of annoying. Ugh. But, if I want the goddamn last Allen Stone, this is what I have to do! Also, I have to burp for some reason, but that, that that's insignificant. Excuse me. Sorry. That is my unprofessionalism. I'm an out. Alright, so let's go back to the Howling Stone, because this time, she went inside, so we don't have to worry about her. Yay! And also, more exploding barrels. All the exploding barrels. Yeah. There we go. Hello, Cuckoo. Oh, actually, I want to shut it off. Watch this. Hey, come here. Come here. And you're like, what are you doing? You're invoking the evil of God! Yeah, I know. I don't care. Come here. Come here! I want to get some damage on you! Wait. Unlike most games, you actually become the chicken. For some reason. Oh no, I just wanted to say that. Because <laughs> I didn't get a chance to show that off. That's the most interesting thing ever. Okay, listen. No, one sec. <sighs> I hate this song because this is actually one of the most complicated Howlin' songs, but...
I was close. There we go. Alright. And this is the seventh and final Howlin Stone of the actually six. Because the seven techniques that you actually learn, the first one you actually learn without a Howlin Stone. So technically it's the sixth and final Howlin Stone. Well, seven if you count the one in the Sacred Grove, but we don't count the one in the Sacred Grove. to note about this Howlin' Stone is this is the only soundtrack in the game that's actually unique to Twilight Princess in terms of the Howlin' Stones. It's the one song that actually is actually from Twilight Princess and actually nowhere else. It's kind of interesting. No, no, no. Alright, I'm gonna warp out of here. Alright, and next up, Let's go get Leah's memory back. 